This is Western Instruments multi-weld gauge. It's a lever type gauge for measuring weld parameters. It's patented. And the subject of the patent, one of them is you have a common pointer to show three scales. Imperial in thousandths of an inch, metric in, um, this is ten to thousandths of an inch, metric in 0.25 millimeters, and then in fractions of an inch and 60 fourths. So your accuracy is, is higher than most weld specifications. So there's our lever for measuring high, low. <coughs> a taper gauge for measuring width of a fit up. Angle of preparation. Fillet weld depth or height. And then internal high, low. Now the other subject is this offset here. We call this offset correction. You can see how the pointer has gone into the middle of the scale plate, the scale plate here, and that is so we can avoid parallax. As the gauge moves from one way to another, the, the zero position won't change. First off, I'm gonna measure um, my gap here. My gap is about 730 seconds in Imperial, and in metric, it's, lo and behold, about 5.2 millimeters. And we'll be able to see in here that it varies. How do you like that? And this was always an interesting thing to get the welders to do this. We told them here I needed a gap, but then I wanted garbage weld. And in order to emphasize the garbage, we put an undercut in this. This material here is the same thickness here, one piece to the other, but you can see we have heavier wall thickness there on a more reasonable looking tack wall than there, a nice looking wall actually. So we'll level the uh, contacts, put them inside the offset, pull it until they stop moving together. I like moving it this way because I can see the displacement here, but because I'm measuring in metric, I turn it around through 180 degrees, pull it up I'm at approximately two and a half. And over here, I'm at eight with an offset there then of uh, two, about five millimeters or about a quarter inch. Now we're taking angle of preparation for the bevel I take the protractor, put it on the bevel, and read off directly, and I'm about 42 degrees there. Now we're going to measure fillet weld throat height. I'll take the gauge and place it at 90 degrees to the weld. Both these surfaces are sitting flat. Come in with my pointer and measure off directly at about 19 millimeters. Okay, now we're gonna to move to this end of the sample, which we, you can see we have gross undercut and some weld reinforcement height. So, um, I can put the gauge flat in this surface, there. So my undercut here is about 10 thou there, and boy, Barely 0.2 millimeters here. Okay, now let's measure weld reinforcement height on this garbage looking weld. And the height there is 50 thou, just over a millimeter. So fill it well, we can still go in and measure the height if we want to over here. That says it's about 425 thou, what is over here? Gosh, both the same. So there we go. That's the multi-weld gauge. And that's how you're gonna use it.